let me ask you a quick question. Can you easily do takeoff and automatically create an estimate? Also, wouldn't you like to have realistic pricing for your estimates? Take a quick look. First, I want to show you the integrated programs that are running. This is eTakeoff Dimension Advanced, where you actually perform takeoff measuring. Your takeoff items will be aggregated here in Bridge, and Bridge automatically submits your takeoff into your Sage Estimate. This is Sage Estimating Essential that will have your takeoff items priced, markup added, and then ready for review. Now I'm going to show you the quick and easy workflow process. Okay, so what you're looking at now is eTakeoff Dimension Advanced Measuring Takeoff Program. When you set up a project, the drawings appear in the center of the screen. On the left and right are what we call control panels that helps you streamline your takeoff. The control panels can be moved off to other screens as well. The current drawing is being displayed small for this internet presentation, so I can show you the features and panels. On the left are the 650 takeoff traces that come with your purchase database in this bundle folder called BCCD, which stands for Building Construction Cost Database, OpenShop. Traces are programmed items to be measured for takeoff. Traces measure square foot, linear foot, or each, but can easily convert into other units of measure like cubic yards, square yards, etc. The most important point is these pre-programmed takeoff traces are included with your purchase of the database. And the traces are integrated with Sage Estimating Essential items in your estimating database through eTakeoff Bridge. The bridge automatically creates your Sage estimate after you're done with takeoff. It's super easy and fast. Bridge streamlines your estimating process. So let me show you the 650 trace library here on the left control panel organized by folders that are customizable. I'll start at concrete. You just click the plus to expand the list and then you see the system categories. Click plus again and you get the varieties of sizes. You can click the folder to collapse it as well. I'll work my way down the list quickly for a few seconds for your viewing. Just to reiterate, your Sage Estimating Essentials Cost Database has 27,000 items in it, and I chose 650 scope takeoff cost items in the database to integrate Sage Estimating Essential with our eTakeoff Dimension Advanced Traces. Now, below the Trace Control Panel are Layers List that lets you filter out things you already measured if you want to. There are many more choices of what you want to see in the control panels to make takeoff really easy. I very much appreciate the time you're spending with me, so please let me briefly show you the process of how to use your system. Okay, let's talk about takeoff. As you can see, I already took off the paving and curb and gutter. As I page down to the next few pages, you see the takeoffs on the first floor and the second floor. Everything can have a color code of your choice, and your measurement summary appears here on the right. In addition, everything also summarizes on a spreadsheet as well. This icon here is the measurement list summary. Very nice. So now I'm going to double click on the structural foundation plan to bring it up on screen to do some takeoff. I navigate to the slab on grade folder of traces on the left and click on the folder to expand. 
and now double clicking on the 4 inch slab on gray trace to select it for takeoff. Now I'm in active mode to measure. And here I go in a clockwise direction, just an FYI. Counterclockwise direction is for area deducts. You see what trace is currently selected on the quantity list window on the right. I press enter on my keyboard or press S to stop my measuring mode and it registers the quantity on the right in the measurement summary window. It's just that easy. As you can see, there are two column spread footings. I just click on the slab on grade trace folder to collapse that folder and click on the spread footing folder. Double click on the size that you want and you're in active mode of counting them. You see your count in the quantity window on the right. And when I press enter on my keyboard, it registers it on the measurement summary list on the right. Again, it's just that easy. Okay, let's say you're finished with the takeoff measuring. You're ready to launch the bridge that takes the takeoff quantities we just did and the quantities I did earlier and automatically runs your estimate in Sage Estimating Essential. Let's do that. This is the first screen you come to. We want to click the automatic button on the ribbon bar since your pre-programmed traces are integrated with the building construction cost database that automatically integrates with your Sage Estimating Essential system. This third green button on the left, Submit Fully Automatic Assignments, which means run the quantities into your estimate automatically. As you can see, you get a message that eTakeoff Bridge sent over many takeoff item measurements into Sage Estimating Essential. It's at this point you click OK on the message and then click Close on the ribbon bar and then go to Estimate to review. Sage Estimating Essential launches and you see your takeoff items that automatically became an estimate ready for your review. All databases for all estimating systems in the software market today typically are designed as if you're the self-performed contractor, which most of you are not. So this estimating effort is to figure out how to come up with a sell price easily that you would expect from a subcontractor. That's the main purpose of this effort. Take off to build a scope of work resulting in some realistic pricing you expect from subs generated by Sage Estimating Essential matched with the building construction cost database. It's important to mention that even though you don't self-perform, you just add realistic markups as if you're the sub. By default, you get all this detail, which includes hours, giving you the ability to project hours for scheduling. Also, your estimate has the reference in the location e-takeoff field that shows where your takeoff came from in e-takeoff dimension. They're integrated together. You probably wonder how I got to the cell total. Take a quick look at our totals page. It shows the cost for labor, material, and equipment. Then all you do is add your markups. We call them add-ons. As I mentioned earlier, all estimating systems estimate as if you're the sub using cost information. So all I did was add labor and equipment add-ons for burden and profit that a sub typically adds. And then those add-ons will spread or allocate into the yellow cell total column as the anticipated total that you expect from a sub. It's just that easy. No way! Yes, way! So here's what you get in the integrated subscription bundle. Sage Estimating Essential, a database of approximately 27,000 items. E-Takeoff Dimension Advanced for measuring. E-Takeoff Bridge to integrate E-Takeoff Trace quantities with Sage Estimating Essential. 650 traces with their formulas for the automation from E-Takeoff to Sage Estimating. Tax and training are additional. All that is under $29.99 per license. No way! Yes way! You can do this. Yes, you can do this today. Go ahead, give Action Associates a call.